Hey y'all, it's Melinda and this is our final wrap up talking about stuff. We talked about smiles, memories, and how to deal with those. And then trinkets, all the stuff that's all over your house. The ugly truth when the people in your life don't value the things that you value, what to do about that and how to handle it and be happy about it. And then your financial papers how to safely get rid of financial paper. Some of them are gonna end up in this knock box, but then some of them, you just don't know what to do with it. So that last video was about how to safely manage all your financial papers over the years so you don't get stuck with boxes and boxes and boxes of light bills and tax returns and that sort of thing. The final video we're gonna talk about is family history. Now. You're probably like me, if you're my age, you, you either already have or you're going to get lots and lots of pictures of family members that is great, great grandpa, whoever that fought in the Civil War or great grandma Lizzie who got married and moved to town and rode a mule to school. You know, there's all the stories attached with your photographs. Now, there is way too much to say about family history for me to put it in a video. And that's okay because the ladies that do the knock box, first of all, they have an ancestry folder and they really help you get started with um, this folder. What's in here will help you get started. But they do a, a podcast and one of their podcasts had a visitor a guest speaker on the podcast and it was the author of this book Laura Gilbert and it's called the stories we leave behind a legacy based approach to dealing with ta -ta, stuff so this is how I wanted to wrap up and say that I bought this book and I'm about halfway through reading the book and it is so practical it really helps you work through the emotions of dealing with all of your stuff. It helps you to leave behind a family legacy. It helps you to deal with all the pictures that are coming your way. It helps you to figure out what to do with your uh, teacup collection, your bobblehead collection. She uh, had a mother who kept everything and it, it spurred her to start doing the work herself so that her children didn't have to inherit all of her stuff. But she wanted them to inherit something. She wanted them to be able to look back and say, this is what was important about my mama's life. And here are some great representations of what was important to her. She steps you through it every little step of the way and I love the fact that she gives you the practical steps to take and she also gives you the emotional steps to take because I'm going to tell you going through all those old smiles and going through all of those old financial papers that I have been doing for the last six weeks to two months it has been so hard it's been hard on me emotionally it's been hard on uh, us, it, it's spread out everywhere. We've spent hours shredding everything and throwing it away, looking back over years of stuff. And I have distilled all of that down. I have this one big plastic tote now, and in it is all, all of these cool things from my past, high school, college, my early years of teaching. It has all kind of cool stuff, and I'm gonna continue to curate that box and whatever I can keep in that box is what I'm going to keep. That's my new project is to keep my history and my uh, story that I want to tell to my children in that box so they can go through and whatever they do with it, that's their business. I don't care. It has been a lot of fun, but the agony and the misery of going through years and years of all that at one time, I don't wish on you at all. I hope that you'll do it a little bit at a time. And this book, Laura Gilbert, The Stories We Leave Behind, a legacy-based approach to dealing with stuff 
is a fantastic way to start. You can just read a couple of chapters and do a thing or two. She's going to help you work through all the emotion that it takes to deal with your stuff. I hope that you do it. I hope you've liked this five part series on stuff and that you share it with people who maybe need to see it. And um, I hope that dealing with your stuff now helps you and it helps your knock.